in this build video of the Skywing 48 inch Edge 540, you know, for the most part, it was a, a pretty st straightforward build. I know everybody says builds are straightforward, but this one, there weren't any gotchas in it, any real issues. Couple areas though to note. One is the inner wing parts. Make sure that those are perfectly aligned with the profile of the wing. Otherwise, when you start centering your ailerons, there's no nothing to index from and you have some, it's kind of messed up. Uh, the other part was the cowl. Cowl's very finicky to put on, uh, to fit, to get it to, to work right. So go slow with that. I did remove a little bit of foam on the inner bottom part of the of the cowl so it got out of the way of the uh, ESC wires that were dangling but other than that pretty simple build enjoy okay gonna glue these guys on make sure they're straight on there hit it with a medium CA force on it. This is pretty thick CA, so it takes a little bit more time to flash. Okay. Sit 100%. Got that little gap right there, but not much I can do. They're flush. Not perfect. in to make sure that these go in <clears throat> all the way I've had a couple that haven't gone in all the way so I'm just kind of working that back and forth these are pretty rigid and they'll at least kind of cut that out a little so get right down there to that center part of the hinge and then making sure It's kind of a tricky thing to feed them all in at the same time. And I'll line them up right. Make sure it doesn't rub up against the inside of the wing there. Get that one done. I'm going to do the next one. I haven't glued them yet. That's the plan. So let me finish this one up. All right, so those CA heaves are in. It didn't take very much time, just made sure, put a couple doses in there and made sure that everything lined up okay. And I mean, that's really the big deal is that they're in and Flexing fine. They're not completely flush. That would have been great, but I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. So, they're in. My standard procedure for installing these servos, basically lining up where the holes go, drilling, a, basically pre-drilling a pretty small hole, putting a screw in, taking the screws out, hitting it with a little thin CA. 
it just hardens that up as far as the threading inside that ply. And that's what I do on all the surfaces you'll notice. I'll stabilizer elevator. What I'm doing here, just getting these CA hinges kind of worked in there, so at least they go to that halfway mark. That's, that's what I found with the ailerons; is they weren't really deep enough. So, but just working this back and forth a little, I have. side worked in, this side has a little gap, I'm going to have to push on that, push that gap up, I'm going to open this gap up, just to make sure that the stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer is centered. Uh, I put the wing tube in and measured to make sure they are both sticking out exactly 
167 millimeters on either side. And I'm just going to measure from here. I'll just measure from the tip of that to there and uh, make sure that those are the same distances. And then some thin CA seeped into the elevator. That's how I'm going to do it. Now for the rudder. And same thing with the hinges as I did before. Kind of push them in. Make sure there's they're seating all the way in. running the lines basically you, your music wire uh, thin wire shoved through that opening and out the front tie some string to it and run those that's pretty much your standard plumbing setup and then on the next step you'll be using those strings comes with these pretty decent quality extensions make sure you put the uh, ground and the ground sync those up this clips over the back like so, but I'm going to take a small piece of blend derm. Note the direction of the where the servo goes in, as far as where the gear is, and the direction of the surface there. Good go. All right, got that servo in. Rudder servo. So we've got the assembly all ready to go. Okay, this needs 
to get flipped up a little bit. There's the screws. Cowl doesn't fit perfect. It takes a little doing, so I am going to just little by little take some material off of that and the cowl itself to get it to fit. is does this fit perfectly and pretty close okay okay so got this guy glued on I used a medium CA and this comes with these triangle balsa pieces for reinforcement have one there there and then these long ones I'm going to get installed in here, just making sure that they fit properly and they kind of don't have enough. All right, all the reinforcing is in. This didn't seat 100% down here. I don't know if I did that or maybe I probably should have. I dry fit it a bunch of times, so oh well. It'll, uh, it's going to be good enough. hope so. All right, going to install the motor on here. Got some 2.6 by, I think they're 2.6 by 12 millimeters. Pre-drilled. Hole they give you, you they pre drill some holes, but I made them just slightly bigger for these loosely putting them in right now. And then I'll torque them down once everything is set. The other thing is this particular motor has some play here and some grub screws that allow me to adjust. 
this for several millimeters uh, to get the prop in the perfect position. So we'll see how that works. I might have to use some spacers behind the mount. In fact, I might just hold off and see how that works when I put the cowl on. I think I'm going to add a spacer to the back of those. play with that a little bit more. Made a slight adjustment to that, added on those spacers, and this fits very nicely. Got about an eighth of an inch in there after I get everything sorted out. This should work pretty well. So, okay, we're getting there. ESC's set up. Already tested the direction of the motor, that all looks good. Got the uh, wires run for the most part and uh, zip tied down with two zip ties. That should be enough. So the control arms, the, they give you some extensions on there. Uh, the screws that came with all of that, I didn't particularly like, so I upgraded the screws for the extensions. That is just a simple matter of connecting things together. Um, nothing real tricky. Just work the mechanical side of it. Make sure your servos are centered and all the regular stuff. So, plane's done. Uh, got everything set up. I'll throw put the throws and some of that information on when I do the maiden on how I finalize that. But we're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.